As most of you may already know, I have been in therapy for the past three or four, maybe even five months. And one of the, the first things that we started to tackle when I started these sessions was this mindset that I had that there was left and right and right and wrong and black and white and there was no in-between. So my therapist, you know, being a good therapist that he is, led me by questioning and making statements, doing whatever it is that therapists do, to kind of see things differently and see that there is an in-between. So obviously it took me a while to adjust that idea, but just yesterday I went to therapy and I had a really good example of how I, I have adjusted to the idea and I can see both sides of the story now and I don't have to choose one or the other. And that example was the people on Wall Street. They are, you know, really upset with our economy and they don't like capitalism and they they don't like the way the government's running. And then there's people who, you know, well, they're upset with the economy and they don't like the way the government's running either. But capitalism works for them. And those people are people like my parents, who 15 years ago started a small business and have had that business support them ever since. And that business has also supported me for all the time that I was living them and that it paid for my, uh, my education. And then occasionally it supports me here, but just occasionally. Um, so I said, I was like, I see both sides of the story here. And I don't want to choose one or the other because I don't want to have to alienate my parents. I don't want to have to alienate these people on Wall Street because I see both sides of the story. So I'm not going to choose. I'm, I don't have to choose. I can take some from this, some from that if I want to and be somewhere in the middle or not choose at all. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter. I can see both sides of the story. And I think, I think my therapist was happy with that, that I had made, I have, I've made some progress. I think he'd already seen progress before, but I think it was nice that I came in and had a real life example of it. <clears throat> so I wanted to share that with you. And I also wanted to say that we can't, I am not upset that for the majority of my life, I had to see things as right or wrong, as left or right, as black and white. You know what I mean? We, I think we as people, we have these, as we grow up and based on our culture, we have these ideas pounded into our head. And we, when they don't work, we want to blame someone else. But there's no, there's no reason we need to blame anybody. We, I, I, I chose to take on that mindset. And this is, this is getting off course from, you know, what I was saying, but I, it's still valid, kind of. I chose that mindset. Being a child, I may have not known, I may have not had the mental capacity to know that there was another option, to know that I didn't need to choose sides or that I could be somewhere in the middle. But I, nonetheless, I took these thoughts, these ideas in and said, this is how, this is how it's good. things are going to work for me. And once you can say that, once you can say, I did it, it was my fault, then you can say, now I'm going to let it go. So I'm not angry that this is the way I spent most of my life. I'm happy now that I've recognized it and I'm letting it go because it doesn't work. So that's just another little thing I wanted to say. So moral of the story, to sum it all up, there are, there are extremes, but you don't have to choose them. You can be somewhere in the middle, identify with both sides or not choose at all. Okay. Don't drive yourself crazy trying to fit yourself over here or over there. And when part of you doesn't work over here, 
view this, you know, like, oh my god, but I can't go over there, I can't do that. Because that's it's just not going to work. All right. Thank you so much for listening to me ramble. I hope this helped you. And um, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.